Sage Basic Estimating is one of the built-in modules available with Sage 100 Contractor. It's unique because of its common database that's used throughout the entire process, from estimating, to purchasing, to inventory control, and allocation to the job. This also provides for a very easy way to upload parts and pricing to a database, maintain the pricing for multiple vendors, and track historical pricing of particular parts. The job can either be set up on the fly during the takeoff or set up earlier to track win and loss reporting as well as scheduled dates, bid dates, etc. The job and takeoff will then be tracked by cost code and cost type, phase, and bid item. Please note the changes columns created by change orders. When you open your takeoff, we will use what we call grids. A grid is simply all of the details for that bid item and phase. The bottom of this screen shows the totals for this grid for costs, overhead, and profit. We'll open the phase for building one and the bid item for concrete. You then see all of the detailed estimating items we brought in for this bid item and phase. Data can be entered into the grids in various different ways. It can be entered in free form, like you would in a spreadsheet. It can be cut and pasted from a spreadsheet. You can easily access the drop down list for parts and assemblies and bring the items in either one at a time or multiple items at the very same time. After pulling in the items, then simply add the quantities for each part or assembly. If you want to change the pricing that came from the database, you can do that here or modify any of the description. We'll use a different estimate to discuss formulas and variables. Formulas and variables will be like the algebra that you learned back in middle school. Variables can either be declared in each bid item and reset when they are used, or global variables that are used throughout the entire estimate. Variables are then used in formulas. This is a global variable, so you see that the formula is the quantity is equal to ACLG, which was the global variable that was declared. Here you see a more complex variable. We're multiplying factors against the variable to come up with the quantity or the price. Now let's go back to our original estimate. Here I'm setting up a change order. You can see that I can flag that to show separately from the base bid, as well as enter in the unique overhead and profit. Rather than enter the information, I'm going to import a grid that was previously created and saved. Individual grids or entire takeoffs can be saved to be used as templates. Enter your values and then simply calculate the takeoff to extend all of the quantities and costs. Vendors are easily assigned to the individual items that need to be purchased or subcontractors that will be used in the estimate. If you need to choose between different vendors or subcontractors, bid requests can be sent out to acquire the pricing. Sage 100 Contractor is unique because of its seamless integration to all of the other modules inside of the system. Think of the time and money you'll save with the built-in integration of Sage 100 Contractor. With the click of a button, automatically create your budgets, change orders, subcontracts, purchase orders, and more. Say goodbye to your disconnected data. You'll make it easier on your company, as they can now very easily go from estimating to production. Using the recap option gives you several different views of your data. The first, by bid item. Note the calculation of the labor hours, the cost, the price, the overhead, and gross margin. If you charge costs to bid item zero, those can either be 
allocated across your bid items or shown separately in your estimate and recaps. Recap by cost code, this is the information that will export to your budgets. Note the cost code number, labor hours, costs, extensions, overhead, and profit. Recapping by cost type then gives us the cost, overhead, and profit, as well as gross margin by individual cost type, material, labor, subcontracts, etc. Each item in the estimate will also be assigned to a task. This is used for the scheduling module inside Sage 100 Contractor. Scheduling is included in the base subscription with Sage 100 Contractor. The detailed integration of Sage 100 Contractor basic estimating will save you time and money. Because of this integration, information will be available at your fingertips like never before. Thank you.